<laughs> Our guest in this segment is the mogul, Delegate Michael Hornby, and uh, Michael was part of a program that we did yesterday, which was a program that he helped put together by bringing in Roger Hanshaw, the Speaker of the House, Clay Riley, who is the Republican Caucus Chair, uh, Senate President Craig Blair, and Senator Jason Barrett. And we did sort of a Friday roundtable as part of the Tuesday show. Michael, good morning to you. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Maria. Good morning. Good morning, Mike. Inquiring minds want to know why you're not here in the studio. I am headed to Charlestown Hollywood Casino to do a presentation with the Senate President and uh, Delegate Riley. We're doing a presentation to the region, uh, the count the the government folks. So the government folks. <laughs> It sounds the quite surreptitious. So there's <laughs> folks from the county council. There's folks from all the different agencies, uh, local government. I see. Uh, yeah. That makes. I thought for a moment you're going to be in an unmarked black helicopter flying over top. No, I wish it. I was that important. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you yesterday had proposed to me an opportunity to discuss yesterday's show and, and a greater, bigger picture. What is that, sir? Yeah, I... I really wanted to get Bill and Maria's feedback. I don't know if they watch, but as an audience member, if our audience likes that kind of thing, if they like hearing from folks from around the state um, on how uh, Charleston works and what they thought of the segment and how we uh, put it together. And I'll invite our audience members who were around yesterday. Post your thoughts Absolutely. on yesterday's show. We'll read the comments on the air as, as we get them. Bill, I know you caught the full two hours. Yeah, Mike, I watched the full two hours. And uh, as a preface, I realize and I appreciate how you and Mike Height and there's probably others as well are trying to reach out and uh, build relationships with, uh, with delegates, representatives from the rest of the state. I think we'll all benefit from this. Again, I'm not trying to exclude anybody but i know you and mike Hate have been very active on this i thought yesterday uh served a couple of purposes one as you pointed out uh that how our government works but more than that uh it gives us an opportunity to view up close and personal delegates and representatives and senators that are not from our part of the state uh roger uh henshaw we get to see frequently Clay Riley was, I thought, a very impressive individual, but one I had not had the opportunity to hear before. Uh, this, I think, our listening audience benefits tremendously by getting to see these folks and having their issues brought on the table and how they respond to the issues of others. So that is a long way of saying, Mike, that I thought yesterday's show was a very productive, a very informative uh, two hours. And, and I think, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Maria. Well, I was just going to say, I only caught the first segment, and my first thought was, oh, look, here are these guys. They're not from here. Um, but again, as, as Bill said, I think you can gain insight and uh, from a, a person who understands how important relationship building is. Um, I think that that's a good... Um, it's a good uh, outreach, and it allows folks here to hear different voices as well. And I think uh, the, the big takeaway for me was, you know, a lot of people think that it's the House versus the Senate, but um, I, I think Roger and Craig truly do work well together, and they do get along. And I thought that was something that... Um, the audience should should understand is is uh, this is you know, even though we we will debate issues we get along and we talk about them and we're we're all all after the same thing in the end. A hey, the uh, the substantive discussion I thought was very good, uh, Mike. I was struck by the fact that what was missing more so than what was said. One thing that was missing were discussion of cultural issues. Uh, the, two hours yesterday were spent on the econ economy, the economics of the state, uh, the, uh, uh, the needs uh, such as in DHHR and the like. No time at all was devoted to what, what I call pure cultural issues. And I thought that both interesting and also refreshing. 
and, and I think that's the the tone of the leadership down in Charleston. Some of those issues are not being uh, uh, promoted, or it's not the big picture thing that Craig and Roger and, and Clay within the leadership are, are are promoting. That's really coming from the body and the folks that are down there. So um, they generally are looking at the, the health and wealth of West Virginia as a whole, and that's their goal. Well, and I think, too, um, Bill, and I bet you you would agree, from someone who um, spent a lion's share of her career in local media, sometimes um, in, uh, sort of the um, squeaky wheel syndrome, if somebody's going to be talking about that and it uh, it sounds good. It's a good sound bite, or it's a good story lead. Then that's what gets reported. And I think you've talked a little bit about that, Mike. Um, you know, when Bill has brought this up in the past. Well, why is the legislature spending so much time on these particular issues? And I think your response has been, "Well, we're not." But that's sometimes what gets covered, and then perception. That, that's what the headlines. Yeah, perception yeah, becomes the, the reality. Chase the headlines. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, a couple of comments before we let you go, Mike, from our commenting community. Then we've got a couple of kids from the youth fair who will be with us in a moment. Uh, first question uh, is uh, off topic, of course. Will WRNR be showing Bulldog football this year, Mike? Yes, we will be covering Bulldog football like we have done for the last eight years. All right, Karen Hammond Dunn, I thought it was great to have <laughs> leaders, delegates from around the state on the program. Chris Chernick said, I thought it was a good format, hearing it from the horse's mouth. Jackie Long, I enjoyed <laughs> yesterday's segment. I'll get through all these, then you can comment, Mike. I thought it was right. a, from Jeff um, Haddock's. I thought it was a good roundtable, but there were no questions asked from the listeners' constituents. Ken Matson, it was good, but some parts uh, look, was uh, look how great we are montage. And uh, uh, yet, during the last session, it was all about cultural issues. From Scott Brown, Mr. Hornby, yesterday's show is excellent. I would encourage you to have more shows like that show on this station. People need to know more about how their government actually does work in Charleston. Thank you. A.R. Emmert, giving the two delegates a comprehensive tour of our uh, highlighting our ever-increasing infrastructure strain would have been compelling. And uh, I guess, uh, I think that's, uh, Rad Nola, I enjoyed the format or idea of around the states. However, as a viewer, and I admit my political bias, I heard a lot of we are fantastic and patting ourselves on the back. We are great when the question was asked about unsuccessful legislation. Only limited honesty, but that is politics. Never show weakness. All right, your comment, then I'll yeah, let you go. I, yeah, so um, I think this is this is the start to getting what we want, and it's the big uh, LP, the locality pay. I think... Uh, this will get done. The Eastern Panhandle will get it in some way, shape, or form. And there are ways we can do it. I think this is just part of that uh, program to, to get that accomplished. And that's the big thing for us. All right. Enjoy your day in Charlestown, sir. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, Rob. Thank you, Michael. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike.